Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I've uploaded a plan with me, so um, yeah, here we are. It's 2021 and I thought I will bring back the Monday plan with me's. I am still going to be using my Erin Condren. It was an undated planner. I know we're boycotting Erin Condren. I haven't bought a new planner. I'm just using my old one. And the kit that I'm going to be using, I'm thinking about bringing these to my shop. I'm going to call them kind of minimal kits, I suppose, because there's not a lot of stickers here. Uh, to be honest, I was feeling pretty overwhelmed coming back into planning because I didn't even touch my planner last year, really. So um, I needed something that didn't have a lot of stickers. I've got so many pretty kits in my collection and I kind of stared at them. I was too frightened to mess them up. So we're going with a minimal look. So I just put all of the headers along the top and use the only full box. I use that in the top left corner and I didn't have any washi to hand. So these mood trackers I released yesterday or Saturday for you because you're watching this on Monday, um, I thought I would use those down at the bottom to track my mood this week. And then going in day by day, so I'm starting off with one of these post-it stickers. These are really cute. I'm thinking I might bring out just a whole sheet in my shop because these look so pretty in your planner. And then on top of that, I just used one of my desk doodle stickers to mark down that I had to, or I'm going to be getting the desk ready for my boys because they're homeschooling. We know how that goes. And then underneath there, I've used one of my pop it alarm clocks that says too early because I need to make sure everybody is up, everybody is dressed and washed and just ready for the day, ready for school. Once I've got everybody set up for school, I'm going to be getting on with my Etsy work. So I just use one of the quarter boxes and I pop it on top. And then I'm going to be using one of the checklist line stickers underneath there to mark down that I'm going to be doing some printing, cutting, packing and then hopefully if I can get it all done I will go to the post office on a Monday as well, if not I'll just do that Tuesday, it's not a problem. Underneath there I'm going to be putting a page flag and on top of that I'm going to be using one of the circle icons that comes with the kit as I'm expecting an Amazon delivery. And then I'm also going to make sure that we all stop for lunch every single day obviously with the children being home and my partner's working from home as well I want to really want to make sure that everybody does stop for lunch because it's so easy to kind of miss lunch or have a snack a bit later and then decide you're not really going to eat lunch and that's a really bad habit to get into so moving on to Tuesday I use the kind of thin washi strips and on top of that I'm using my tiny poppets because they're the perfect size for these and it's just to mark that both of my sons are starting school a little bit later so I just want to mark down what the timing was and on Tuesday I have got such a huge task so I've used this poppet with like the oh my goodness shocked face because I'm going to be going through my entire collection of poppets so all of my stock and everything going through everything I um, write poppets way too fancy so then I went back and I was trying to thicken up the lines to make it look a little bit more like calligraphy I feel like doing that is a little bit like the eyeliner you know when you go back and you make it a bit thicker and then you have to make the other one a bit thicker it's kind of like that uh, but we're gonna move on so I took another couple of the round my phone's going off sorry I took another couple of the round icon stickers one was to write a print and cut list and then the other one was just to call my sister and then again I'm just writing down that we actually need to stop for lunch and then my cat has got a vet's appointment on Tuesday because he's had like a dodgy eye for a few days and it's just not getting any better so I've made him an appointment for that and um like a stupid person I don't actually have vet insurance so I have no idea how much that is going to cost me I need to remember to take my bank card I know it just costs 40 pounds just for the vet to look at him but that's without anything else so for Wednesday I started with a page flag right at the top as I'm going to be doing some designing and I've recently started watching Gilmore Girls again for like the 15th time <laughs> but I like having something on when I'm designing something I don't really have to pay that much attention to so Gilmore Girls is um, perfect for me. My daughter has got a delivery on Wednesday she ordered herself some trainers so very exciting and then underneath there I'm just again putting down um, for lunch to make sure that we all stop. Um, my son has got a big project due for college so he uh, works in like the games development sector 
um, and he's got a very big project that is due so I was just going to give him a hand because on some of it it's to do with Photoshop which obviously I use all the time for designing in my shop. And there's a couple of other bits that I just want to make sure he's on track with. So I did try to space out most of my plans and my stickers because I don't have a lot of plans. I don't think anyone has a lot of plans when they are in um, another lockdown. Um, for Thursday I used one of the washi strips and another desk doodle, the slightly larger ones from my shop as I will be doing orders on Thursday and then I will go to the post office if I get everything done so I just used one of the Happy Mail poppets and put that down. I then filled up some of the space with just a half box because I didn't have anything else to put there. <laughs> And then again here I'm going with the pet lunch poppets to mark down for lunch and underneath there I'm using another one of these post-it note stickers and that's because I've got some new storage coming um, for all of my stickers for my shop, my light shop storage, which I'm kind of excited about so I've put that down with a tiny poppet right at the bottom. And then after that I'm going to be moving on to Friday, I'm getting ahead of myself, let me just catch up. Mm -hmm. Great. Now on Friday I'm going to be putting a half box down and I want to make sure that I've got my new release finished and then whatever the new release is I'm going to come back and stick a picture of it on this half box. To be honest I've got so many different projects and designs going because I just had like this influx of creative ideas and now I don't know where I am. I'm halfway through about seven different things so I don't know what's coming out yet on Saturday <laughs> but something will. Uh, my black bins need to go out so I put down one of the bin poppets and then underneath there I've put a happy poppet which is from the feeling sheet as um, oh I need to order envelopes and ink so I've put that down and then underneath there I have got my food shop delivery so I've just put a half box that I flipped up onto its side and I'm also going to be using a food shop poppet and then when I wrote down my deliveries coming, I don't know why, but I, I wrote it off the sticker. I don't know why I done that, because then it threw me and I didn't know where else to write. But yeah, so I've got my food shop delivery coming at four. And then my daughter is actually going to be cooking dinner on Friday. So I've used a quarter box with another poppet from the feeling sheet and just wrote down that she's going to be cooking dinner very excited about that because at any time that I don't have to cook or I have help cooking I'm very grateful and then underneath they were going to be having a movie night so I took one of the TV poppets and then moving on to Saturday I used one of the planner poppets at the top just to uh, remind myself I need to go through and update my bullet journal for the week next week and then obviously I'm going to be having my new release go up so I've used another one of the planning poppets I need to get some housework done and some laundry because nothing's changed. I'm behind on laundry, it's still the same as it was a year ago. Uh, so I've put down two poppets from the home life sheet. I need to double check if I can get any delivery slots for the next week because you know they come on sporadically and you're lucky if you can get one. So. Um, I'll be checking if I can get another one <laughs> and then I'll probably do an Instagram post on Saturday after I've put up my new release. Um, I'm going to be having a coffee break and listening to a podcast or trying to find another podcast. I've been watching a lot of Bailey Sarian, Bailey Sarian on YouTube. She does a lot of crime and makeup which are two of my most favourite things. So um, I need to find a podcast that I can listen to so then I don't have to have YouTube up and I'm not distracted by watching her because I'm not getting a lot of work done. <laughs> for Sunday, um, I need to make sure I've got everything ready for Monday for the boys for their school. So I've just put that down on a half box and use one of the Poppet highlighters. I also want to check if they've got any homework. I'm not sure if they're being set homework because obviously they're all working from home at the moment. Um, but I'm just going to double check it. If your child is being homeschooled at the minute but they still have homework set, let me know down in the comments. And then I am completely messed up here. Instead of writing mop floors, it looks like mop flocks. Didn't really know what to do so I just covered that up with a sticker because I don't have any tipex. 
and I just rewrote the word which still doesn't look right but we're moving on and then to my sidebar I used the headers from the kit which was notes and next week and I was saving that checklist for my sidebar here for the next week but I just took my pen and drew a couple of circles as I'd use my box or the checklist to cover up that word. I put a habit tracker in my sidebar because it's a few things that I want to track and then lastly I took the quote and stuck it on my full box at the top. Oh and I put a page flag down because I had one left and I could not use him. So here's everything that I've got left. I've just got one half box and a couple of round icons. Other than that I used everything. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week, next Monday. Bye guys!